Okay, well, I'm back in Berlin and have my Wing Chun uh, brother here, Timo. He's going to help me. He's going to help me show a few drills that we do. We were just training some Kunsa, so I'll explain a little bit what we're doing here. We push from our whole structure into the other person's structure. And so the crucial thing is that our elbows are pushing in one line. And here we, we can't really see what's happening very much. It's more of a thing that you really have to feel. And you can really train a lot of full body power with this. And here I want to show you some details. So first details, when I have my bong sao, my fingers are touching the shoulder of him here. This makes sure that my bong is not collapsed somewhere back here. Because what you have to think is when I bong, I really want to close all of this space and push him back here. Uh, and if I don't do that, he would likely come over the top. So the way that we train it, we only have pressure in the arm that's the lower arm here, pushing, which is always a chain for our punch. Yeah? But the, the high arm that we have here for us, the Fuxa, for example, is just sitting there, has a little bit of structure, so it's not collapsing, but it's not pushing forward. It's for how we train it. And then the other thing that you can watch out for is when you do the foot saw, that you really have a foot saw like this and you're just pushing from the elbow. Whenever your wrist starts to come in like this, most likely you're pushing the arm to the side and it's not what we're training right here. We really just want to go forward. Yeah, so when I do my fuxal here, we have this exchange of pressure and then I give him a little of an impulse so that he really has to use the bong cell and I'll show that here we have the pressure from our body and here I give a little bit of impulse yeah, so that he really needs to use the bong cell Genau, immer aus dem Ellenbogen. Ja. Das macht aber ein bisschen so. Ich da eigentlich schon Okay. Ja, deswegen immer den kleinen Puls geben. Oh, sorry, was hat Kein Problem, alles gut. Ja, whenever we push here, I'll show this with just one arm, look at the When we push here, and now if he were to take the arm away, you know what then my fist has to shoot forward immediately. Yeah? That's how Jikchong. If there's nothing in the way, my fist shoots forward. And so all the time that we're rolling here, there's always this searching little bit of pressure. If there's a hole, I'll shoot, I'll shoot through. And him likewise. So if I do this, he hits. So this is then also a drill like you can do like this. You should always train like this. Every once in a while, you just take one of the arms away and then you hit the chest. Yeah? Make sure that if you do this with a newbie, show them first so they don't hit you in the face when you do this. Here I grab my hand and then I have to punch. And you really want to make sure that if I'm in the bong position, my partner's in the foot, that the foot is not pulling or pushing down on my bong. Because if that happens, if I have a bong here and he pushes down on the bong, then I have to drop my elbow. This is exactly what we want to do in this case. Yeah? And so it's nonsensical, counterproductive. Look at how long my bong is. If he pushes on that and I have to hold it up, it's really bad for my shoulder. It's not what the bong is meant to do. Not for us at least. Yeah? Bong is always force is coming towards me like a punch and I rotate that off but I'm never trying to push up 
or hold the pressure with my bone. Okay? Like it. So once you've done then the, the drill a few times where you let the opponent strike, or the, rather the partner, the opponent here, back in here, just find it. Ja, auch lass den Fuck stehen, damit du nicht anfängst, so zu machen. Mhm. Warum ist der Fuck gut? Ja? Fuck ist, the wrist is off. That's what the Fuck means. The wrist is not on and pushing over there. It's just off. Then once we've done a few times the drill, where we chain Latsa Ji Chung, I start doing, switching the sides, like this. And here again, it's very important. <laughs> that both of our arms want to go forward. So for example, come off it. Yeah. If I do it badly, the, the switch, and I just take my arms away, and he's already hit me. Yeah. yeah? So I have to be able to do this in a way that he feels pressure coming forward the whole time. Even though, of course, at some short moment, good, my arms will not be there anymore. And likewise, if he's sleeping, and he's not paying attention. Maybe ah, that's it. Yeah, no, he did well. But sometimes you also will slip through when you do the change that you will flow into a hit. Okay. When you do the pushing here, make sure that you don't push from the arms. Okay. The, the push comes from the legs. You, you um, tense the legs, the butt the belly, all of these muscles, and then the, the power comes out of the arms. It's not generated up here. Yeah? So make a nice continuous pressure. And here we have so many things already to look out for. All of the techniques have to have the right details. Lower arms nice and relaxed. Yeah. The wrist, the fingers cannot be stiff in the exercise. One really simple drill in the beginning that's nice is I do a, I switch the sides and now I turn my arm around so that my fingers are pointing up and I do a palm strike like this. When I have the inside position, observe what the palm strike does. The elbow here gives him a nice push. This is also why the palm strike is nice. Something comes here, and I go through like this. Mm. I close the space, protects me, the elbow protects me. Mm. Yeah? So when he's on the inside, and this is a little bit like Ganshi, so we have a palm strike. Genau. So if I only hold my arm and he does it, what am I? He's gonna move me. Yeah? So what I'll do here is, is <laughs> I'll will from the fuxa perform my punch. And there's a little bit of rotation here. This kind of rotation, like in the jump saw, huh? jump saw did that rotation. And that rotation goes to the inside and counteracts the rotation of his Arm strike, so the two motions dissolve each other, so nothing moves. Yeah? Yeah. Genau. Ja, also der eine Energie ist ja, guck mal, drück dich so rein, merkst du? Ja. Andere Energie, drück dich so raus, weißt du, ne? Ja. Das ist doch das Geld. Das ist doch ein bisschen stärker. Nee, weil jetzt hier wirklich der Ärmel kommt. Ja. Rein, rein ja. rotiert dabei. Ja. Ja. Da machen wir es jetzt mal ab. Komm jetzt hier rein, mach so. Zack. Hier, zack. The drill is really that you switch, switch. Okay, also, fange ich an. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, Ja, 
Okay? Ja. Die war bei mir. Das ist ein Bogen. Warte, wir machen einen Wechsel von hier. Genau. Und in this drill, you really see how much, how strong the inside position is. Stimmt. Yeah. The Tanzau position is strong. On the outside, he would always beat me. Would, he would always beat me. Only if I rotate the elbow in, do I have a chance. Only with the elbow, taking the elbow in at that moment, do I have a chance. And this is why, if the guy punches orthodox, yeah, Mohamed von Faust here, punches like this, yeah, it's always going to be difficult to overcome that. that. That is a very strong structure, which is why most of our drills, when, when this happens, we end up moving ourselves a little bit. Also ich meine, wenn wir so stehen, ja, mm. und ich schlage einfach von hier da ein Ding rein. Ja, Außer wenn du den Ellenbogen richtig gut reinkriegst, kommt man da super gut durch. Ja, also, also wenn da der Faustschuss kommt, this is also a really nice technique. Mm. I like this a lot. I like to hit under the arm. Mm. Because it's a very direct thing. Ja? It's much easier if we're like this. All I have to do is open here a little window. And here's the first hit. Das kannst du einfach ab und zu mal mit einem Schritt drin machen. Und ich weiß nicht vorher wann. Ja, und hier kannst du sehen, was das Stepping ist vor von der Kunzau. Ja. Ich conditioniere mich selbst, um den Hit und den Elbow zu koordinieren. Aber die Power ist zu viel, sie kommt mit dem Step. Nichts passiert. Okay, ich werde einfach get shot out of that position. Aber ich bin gut. Mein Struktur bleibt intakt. Ja? Also, äh, passiert nichts, ja? ja? Solange man immer diesen Punkt so gut trainiert, dass ich hier, wenn du hier auf einmal durchkommen musst, wenn ich da die Hüfte und den Ellenbogen trainiere, dann ja. das Schlimmste, was passiert ist, ich schieße mich da aus der Position raus. Ja. Richt mich dabei wieder aus. Ja. Dann habe ich wieder eine gute Position. Ja, klar. Super. Halt genau. Wenn ich jetzt versuchen würde, mich da nicht durchkommen zu lassen, dann würde es mich einfach umwerfen. Verstehst du? Ja. Dann ist da ein bisschen flexibel. Dann dreht ja. die Hüfte und dann geht man dann raus. Ja. 